I wrote an article this week for Positively Positive and it was talking about love in general and how you can tap into that energy of love and keep yourself in a constant state of love always. And I got some feedback uh, on that article. I'm going to leave a link to the article at the end of the video if you'd like to read more about it. But the feedback that I got was um, pertaining to self-love and how we can begin to learn how to love ourselves, respect ourselves. So I'm going to go into that uh, in this video. How do you learn to love yourself? And the answer to that is that you learn to love yourself one step at a time, one little step at a time sometimes. We don't arrive at a place of criticism or self-hatred or self-loathing in one day. We arrive there in little steps. So it makes sense that to go the other way, to go to a place of self-love, that we also go one step at a time. Now, when I talk about self-love, I'm not talking about pampering yourself. I'm not talking about going to get a massage or booking yourself a trip to the Caribbean. I'm talking about things that are very much uh, deeper than this. They're much deeper than pampering. Although pampering can be fun, it's not necessarily a sign of self-love. You can book a trip to the Caribbean and go and sit on the beach uh, drinking a margarita and still be highly critical of yourself, right? So self-love doesn't always have to do with pampering. For me, the road to self-love occurred with two really cool tools that, that I started to use and I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about them today and hopefully they'll help you also. The first one was a trick that I used in meditation. When I began to meditate, my mind was going about a thousand miles an hour um, and I was still very critical of myself in the initial phases of, med of my meditation practice. And so I would get really frustrated with myself because I wasn't able to quiet my mind as I wanted. And so what I started doing was I would smile whenever a thought popped up in my mind. And what this did, it was a really simple practice, but what it did was it allowed me to feel compassion for myself. It was that smile was basically like I was saying to myself, Hey, you're human. Your mind thinks a lot and that's okay. And so every single time I had a thought pop up in my mind during meditation, I would smile and let it float away. So that was my first trick. That was my first tool that I used to go from a position of self-loathing to self-love was smiling during meditation whenever a thought popped up in my mind. The second practice, and this occurred later on, was the practice of mirror work. And this one was really cool because it kind of unearths things in me. Usually when we look at the mirror, we don't always accept what we see. We don't always like what we see. When we look in the mirror, we're usually looking for something that could be better. So our internal conversation could go something like this. Oh, you look pretty good, but you know, you could be skinnier. Oh, you look okay, but you could be prettier. Oh, you look okay, but your, your makeup could be better. You look okay, but your hair could be better. Do you see? When we look at the mirror, we tend to always look for something that could be different. And so if we're really always looking for something that could be different, do we really love the reflection that we're seeing at exactly that moment? No. <laughs> so the mirror work for me occurred when I began to look in the mirror. I took my hand to my heart and I said, I love you. And every single time that I looked in the mirror, I began to love the reflection that I saw exactly as that reflection presented itself in the present moment. And this was a really simple practice, but it also really, really helped me arrive at a place of self-love. So there you have it. Two practices that are simple, but that can help you on your road to self-love. Smiling whenever a thought pops up during your meditation session and looking at yourself in the mirror every day and saying, I love you exactly as you are right now. I hope this helps. And if you have any feedback, if you're still having difficulties with your road to self-love, 
please shoot me an email or leave me a comment um, in this comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.